Progies are a magical thing. They bring people together. People in Pittsburgh love stuffing those dumplings with potatoes and cheese and sausage and sauerkraut, whatever, at the Pittsburgh Pierogi Festival. And then I met my two best buds, Aaron and Al, who were eating pierogies. Um, I've never had a pierogi before, so this is, this is my very first experience. How would you describe it? Very buttery. It's good. How would you give it on a scale of 1 to 100? I'm going to go uh, a 75. Wow. The butter adds What else is sort of on the 75 scale, just for perspective? Oh gosh. Um, Typical pasta dish. Okay. Yeah, like a spaghetti meatballs. Now tell me about uh, pierogies. Pierogies, let's see, uh, grew up on them. Uh, my mom used to make it from scratch. Uh, we'd have them at least once or twice a month. Uh, she actually, uh, when I got older, she actually taught me how to make them. What's so, the secret uh, to a good pierogi? Uh, patience. Okay. <laughs> it's a lot of hard work. The pierogies are actually a lot of hard work. There's a lot of steps, and it's really complicated to do. But. And what do you like to stuff them with? Uh, I like potato and cheese, but you can stuff them with just about anything. Cool. Thank you. Um, so those that's pierogies in a nutshell, or a pierogi shell. And I want to thank Chester Cheese for stopping by. And, uh, you know, his interview was full of cussing, so I actually had to delete, delete that. So 